welcome to the Tom Sands Guitars Workshop here in North Yorkshire, England. Today is New Guitar Day and uh, I'd like to introduce you to our latest creation. This is a Model S that we've called Anastasia. We have got some Horrified Adirondack Spruce for the face. Some really interesting figured anagray for the back and sides. We have a mahogany neck, a Madagascar rosewood trim, bridge, fingerboard, head cap. And we've also got this really beautiful geodesic etched copper for the rosette and for the headstock inlay as well. So just a quick overview of the specs of the Model S. We've got a 19 inch body, 14 and a quarter inches across the lower bout, four and a quarter deep at the end pin, 24 and, inch, 24 and three quarter inch scale, one and three quarter nut, and two and a quarters at the saddle. So what can I tell you about Anastasia? Well, as I've already said, the top uh, is Torrified Adirondack Spruce. Torrified spruce is spruce that's been roasted. Uh, this is going to sound like uh, I'm doing a Jamie Oliver bit here, but it's been roasted at a low temperature um, in a, uh, an oxygen-free environment. So the idea is that we're trying to replicate some of those vintage tones, the kind of sounds that you get from really old guitars made from Adirondack spruce. So the roasting process crystallizes any of the internal resins in the wood. Uh, and the idea is that it, it makes a new piece of wood sound much older. One thing I've really loved about working with this wood is that the entire time I was working with it, the workshop smelled of fresh baking. It smelled like biscuits, cookies, lots of baked goods. It was really, really interesting. What was also fascinating about working with the red spruce, the torrified spruce, was just right from the moment that I opened the package, um, when I took delivery of the spruce, it was so lively, really lightweight, really stiff, um, and just kind of desperate to be made into a guitar. So the back and sides, again, a, a new wood for me, um, or at least a new wood for me when it comes to guitar making. Figured Anagray, it's an East African hardwood, um, and it's a, a wood that I first came across when I was working as a cabinet maker, very widely used in high-end cabinetry, um, it's a really curious wood. It looks kind of like figured maple, but it has a much, um, it's much less dense. It's more akin to something like koa or mahogany. Um, and what's really, really surprising about it is the incredible tap tone that you get from, from this wood. It's unbelievable given the feel and the look of the wood. You would expect it to be more like mahogany or koa, so not as vitreous, not you not getting that kind of rosewood pinginess that you do from the anagray. Really spectacular wood, looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and paired with the Madagascar rosewood bindings, uh, it's just a really, really classic look. So, as I've mentioned, we've got some geodesic etched copper. Very, very bling. It's throwing the light in some really beautiful ways, which is something I'm always looking for. Textures that are gonna uh, catch the eye and throw the light. Quite often I'm asked where I get my inspiration from for my instruments. I've, I've been working with copper for about five years now. Um, it's such a versatile material, you can always do so much with it, but the geodesic kind of design came to me in the most strange of places. I was on a train down to London. I think it was probably visit to, to visit the guys at the North American Guitar. And I was uh, drinking from a, a bottle of Harrogate Spa water. Um, 
and it was a beautiful glass bottle and the around the decoration around the bottle or the way the bottle had been cast it had this kind of geodesic uh, faceted element around the neck of the bottle which as i was sat mindlessly on the train twisting the bottle it was just catching the light coming in through the train window and inspiration inspiration struck for the last couple of videos uh, yours truly has been taking care of the demo work um, and i use that very that term very loosely fortunately this guitar has recently come back from a trip to see our friend will mcnichol who uh, has done a far greater job than i at bringing out the best in anastasia so <laughs> on this guitar please make sure to visit our website tomsandsguitars.com you can follow us on facebook instagram and youtube as well and there's also the podcast available wherever you get your podcasts until next time take care mm -hmm.